I wanted to go into more detail about how to convert a SOLIDWORKS file to an STL file. And STL files are used for 3D printing. So I'm going to open a SOLIDWORKS part file that is already done. It's already saved as a SOLIDWORKS part file, and I'm going to open it up. Now you can see the part file, and I don't have to line it up any special way when I make an STL file. However, it's sitting in SOLIDWORKS, that's fine. Just go up to File, then down to Save As. Click on Save As. So you can see it still says Part File. Click there. Go up to STL. Click there. Now it says STL. Now go to Options. Now some people that don't use an Infinia printer like I do, you need to make sure that it's millimeters up there on the top. So it says that, and you can choose whatever you want. I use the one that's selected there and use millimeters. Make sure it's millimeters, not inch. And I like to use fine. And I like to keep this box checked, and I'll show you at the end of the video why I do that. It's kind of a nice feature to use. Okay, you have the settings right, click OK. And on my STL parts, I like to type in 3D STL or just STL on the front. You don't have to do this, it just makes them easier to find later. Now click Save. And you can see it, it created an STL file. Hit Yes, and there you go. Now you're still in the SOLIDWORKS part file, so you can get out of that. And if we open up our Affinia 3D software, now you'd open up your software for your printer. And if you're using Affinia, just click on the 3D STL, and it brings the part in. And that's it. Nice thing about Affinia is it's this quick. All I have to do is go to Print or Print Preview, since I don't have the machine on. Click on your preferences. I just use the defaults most of the time. Click OK and click OK. Now you can walk away. You're done. Come back later in one hour and 23 minutes and you'll have a part. And that's why I like the Affinia printer. It's really easy to use. Now let's go ahead and show this again. In my videos I like to show things over and over. So it's, we're going to do a different part but we're going to do the same thing. We open up a SOLIDWORKS part file. It doesn't matter how the part file is sitting in SOLIDWORKS. You don't have to line it up any special way. Just go right up to Save As, File, then Save As. Go to STL, click on STL. Always check, check your options. And we want to make sure that says Fine, Millimeters. Okay, we're good. That's your choice. I, that's what I use. Here's all the different things. Now, on the Finia, I can click inches there and it still works. But on some of these other printers, it doesn't. So that's the trick right there. Make sure that's in millimeters and make sure it says fine. And I'll show you later why to have that checked all the time. Click OK. And then once again, it's good to get used to putting STL in front of that or 3D STL. And it makes them stand out when you're looking for them. And now we've created another STL file. You can see all the little triangles it used. Hit yes, and that's it. Now you're still in the SOLIDWORKS part file, so get out of there. And then go ahead and start your 3D printing software, whatever you're using. I'm just going to show you this again. Now if you want to cheat like I did and have just a super easy machine to use, get one of these Affinia machines with their software, because it really comes down to the software. This is just so easy to use. And the nice thing is it, it sets up all the support material for you. I just hit the preferences. Most of the time I'll just hit restore defaults or default. Hit OK. You see down there it gives you the layers. And then up here it'll tell you how much material it's going to use and how long it'll be. And you hit OK and it's done. You're printing. A lot of other machines I see that you have to do a lot more settings. But... So now I am starting I just started an assembly file in SOLIDWORKS, so I'm going to bring in some part files. This is kind of a nice little feature here. So I brought in one part file that 
into a SOLIDWORKS assembly. Now I'm going to bring in another one. Now make sure to line them up so that the parts that you want the facing down on the platform that are touching the platform or the bottom part of the platform, make sure those are mated and matched up. So I just mated those. And if you want to do some other mates, just that's the important part. Make sure that those are the same height. And you'll see why in a second here. This I'm just lining these up so they look a little nicer on the printer. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a single STL file that I can bring into my printer and it'll print these at the same time. And a lot of printers allow you to bring them in one at a time. But the nice thing is you have, if you have like 13 little parts, it's nice to bring them in in SOLIDWORKS and line them up all flat on the bottom edge that you're going to put down on the platform and get them all set up and line them up and get them the way you want and then just save those as a single file especially if you're going to have to print them over and over again if there's something you're using in a big, big assembly. So once again, we do the same thing as we've done before. We hit Save As. We have it millimeters. But down here, just make sure that that is checked. And what it's going to do, it's going to take those two parts, but it's going to make one STL file. There you go. And it made it. Now we can get out of there, and we can open up our 3D printing software. We can go find that file. When it opens, you see it brought them in. Now mine automatically picks the best where it thinks is the best place to place them down there. But you can move them around if you want to on the Infinia. But you see how it just goes so fast. So that's it. And it tells you the materials and you're ready to go. That's all.